In this video we are going to talk about 10 best places to visit in Spain. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Spain is more complex than myths would have you believe, stretching from the Pyrenees to the Mediterranean and then to the Atlantic. While paella and bullfighting are both Spanish, neither defines the Iberian nation. In Spain, you'll be exposed to a wide variety of cultures, even more than you would think. Discover Catalan culture in Barcelona, complete with Antony God's dreamlike architecture. In the northwest, try Pinchos, a Basque version of tapas, and in the south, see the legacy of Moorish architecture in Andalusia. There's a lot more than that. That's not even taking into account the popular Costas beaches. Or the incredible Roman ruins that dot the country, especially the aqueduct in Segovia. Culture, decent food, and plenty of sun are all on the menu in moderation. With our list of the best places to visit in Spain, you can plan your journey to this amazing Mediterranean travel destination. 10. Santiago de Compostela. Santiago de Compostela, the capital of the Galicia region in northwest Spain, is well known as the final destination of the popular pilgrimage known as Camino de Santiago. This pilgrimage, also known as the Way of St. James, dates back to medieval times and is significant to many since it is thought that St. James, an apostle of Jesus Christ, is buried in Santiago de Compostela. Thousands of people visit the city each year because of its religious tradition and history. The main square, Praza do Obradoiro, is where most pilgrims arrive. This busy plaza, situated in the heart of the city, is home to a number of significant landmarks, including the Santiago Cathedral, which houses St. James's tomb. Gelmara's Palace, Rajoy Palace, Catholic King's Hostel, and San Geronimo College are among the other historic structures in the region. The Pilgrimage Museum provides information on the origins and importance of the Camino de Santiago pilgrimage, while the Museum of the Galician people displays the region's culture and history. 9. Toledo. Toledo was the Spanish capital until the 16th century, perched on a mountaintop in central Spain. The city is often referred to as the City of Three Cultures, because it has long been home to Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Toledo is now a popular tourist destination due to its extensive collection of historic art and architecture dating back to the Roman Empire. The best thing to do in Toledo is get lost in the medieval streets and admire the old architecture, which includes beautiful cathedrals, synagogues, mosques, and a magnificent old Roman fortress. The Zordo Cover Plaza, which has been the site of many historic activities, is well worth a visit, as are the many nearby shops. Relax, people watch, and try local specialties like mazapan, a sweet treat made with almonds and pine nuts, in charming cafes. Local bars serve pre-dinner cocktails and tapas in the evenings. 8. Córdoba. Córdoba is the capital of the same named province in southern Spain's Andalusian region. Though Córdoba is known for its small-town charm, this mid-sized city has many of the historic and cultural attractions of a large city. The historic quarter of Córdoba, one of Europe's oldest cities, is a labyrinth of tiny medieval avenues, plazas, and whitewashed courtyards centered on the Mezquita, the city's main attraction. The Mezquita, which was originally designed as a mosque, is now a magnificent cathedral that retains much of its original architecture. Its forest of columns, topped with red and white striped arches in the Islamic style, serve as a reminder of Córdoba's glory and importance in medieval times. A lovely orange grove is located outside the Mezquita and is ideal for relaxing. The Fortress of the Christian Monarchs, the Street of Flowers, and the Old Jewish Quarter, with its charming patios and souvenir shops, are all worth visiting. Córdoba, which was once a Roman city, has many Roman buildings, including old walls, gates, a bridge, an amphitheater, and a mausoleum. 7. San Sebastian. San Sebastian is the capital of the Guipuzco province, which is situated off the coast of the Bay of Biscay in the Basque country of northern Spain. This lovely seaside town is known for its stunning beaches and outstanding culinary heritage. San Sebastian is a compact, cozy city with restaurants, pincho bars, designer shops, and an enclosed mall, despite being divided into several districts. Many historic buildings in the old town were rebuilt in the 19th century after the city was nearly destroyed during the Napoleonic Wars. San Sebastian is home to some of Europe's best beaches, the most famous of which is Playa de la Concha, which offers sunbathing as well as water sports such as swimming, kayaking, and water skiing. 
Many surfers visit Playa de la Zuriola, which offers surfboard and bodyboard rentals. 6. Valencia. Valencia is one of Spain's largest and most important towns, situated in the Valencian region in the country's east. Valencia is known for its Fallas Festival and the City of Arts and Sciences architectural masterpiece after many years of massive building and renovation. Valencia is brimming with beautifully restored historic structures, including stunning churches, old monasteries including San Miguel de los Reyes, and the Silk Exchange Market, the site of an ancient silk trading hub. After rerouting the Taria River, the city built its most impressive attraction, the City of Arts and Science, a huge cultural and entertainment complex. There are many buildings within this complex that are artistic marvels in and of themselves, including a science museum, planetarium, aquarium, arts museum, and an IMAX theater. Beautiful gardens, athletic fields, and man-made lakes can also be found in the old Turia riverbed. 5. Seville. Seville is the top tourist destination in southern Spain, with exceptional tourist attractions, vibrant festivals, and a thriving nightlife. Seville is the capital of Andalusia, as well as the financial and cultural center of the region. The Grand Cathedral of Seville, where it is believed that Christopher Columbus is buried, is one of Seville's most magnificent and significant historic landmarks. Other notable structures include the Real Alcazar, an opulent Moorish castle with lush gardens and a space where Christopher Columbus arranged his voyage to the New World. The Metropole Parasol, a massive umbrella-shaped structure that houses the main market, is the world's largest wooden structure. 4. Madrid. Madrid, Spain's capital and largest city, is well known for its vibrant nightlife. The city, which is home to a variety of universities, is diverse in ethnic groups, making it one of Europe's most vibrant cosmopolitan cities. Madrid is a lovely city with a blend of old and modern architecture. From historic quarters to older crowd communities, university centers, ethnic neighborhoods, and party scenes, the city is divided into many neighborhoods, each with its own distinct character and attractions. Puerta del Sol, the city's center, is a wide plaza that hosts festivals, important events, and street performers, as well as serving as a hub for the city's public transportation system. Plaza Mayor is another significant square, with many souvenir shops, cafes, and the bustling San Miguel Market. 3. Mallorca. Mallorca, the largest of Spain's Balearic Islands, is surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea and is dotted with jagged cliffs, secluded coves, and stunning beaches. The island, which has long been a popular tourist destination, is blessed with a warm and inviting environment as well as breathtaking scenery. Its beautiful coastline is dotted with seaside towns and resorts, while its rugged interior is home to ancient hilltop monasteries and sleepy villages. Sunbathing, diving, and water sports are all common activities, and there is delicious local cuisine and seafood available everywhere. Palma de Mallorca is the island's largest city and capital. Visitors will stroll through a lovely old town with winding narrow streets and centuries-old buildings underneath the magnificent Gothic Cathedral. The picturesque town of Soler, as well as the charming mountain village of Valdemosa, are both worth visiting for their beautiful, secluded atmosphere. 2. Barcelona. Barcelona, in northeastern Spain, is a popular tourist destination because it has everything tourists want in a European city, from historic architecture to lively shopping, vibrant culture, and a buzzing nightlife. Barcelona's biggest draw is Cidit Vela, or the Old City. The Gothic Quarter, with its charming old churches, Roman ruins, and cobblestone streets lined with outdoor cafes and restaurants, attracts visitors. La Placa Catalunya is a traditional meeting spot and a center for local transportation services, surrounded by statues and fountains. Strolling along La Rambla, a tree-lined pedestrian path, and sunbathing on Barceloneta, one of the city's most popular beaches, are two popular activities in Barcelona. 1. Granada. Granada is the capital of the Granada province and is located at the base of the Sierra Nevada mountains in southern Spain. Granada is a mid-sized city with a great mix of impressive attractions, traditional cultures, and a vibrant nightlife. The Alhambra, a pinnacle of Moorish architecture that encapsulates Andalusian culture and is one of Europe's great architectural sites, is its most popular attraction. The city's most prominent landmarks, the 16th-century Granada Cathedral with its impressive domed ceiling and the famous Alhambra, a grand Moorish palace with lavish gardens and Arab baths, attest to the city's eventful past. 
Sacromonte and Albacine, two contrasting neighborhoods in Granada, are at the heart of the city's history. Sacromonte is known for its Christian Abbey, but visitors come to see how gypsies have historically lived in cave dwellings and to watch live flamenco and zambra dances. So that's it for today's video. What do you think of our list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell before you go. Thanks for watching.